humanitarian award is something very special to me. It's about people that do outstanding things for the community and extending that. I'm talking about child abduction. I'm talking about the sex trade of selling children, abducting children and selling them for body parts. And something that's not, probably not going to go down well with you, the meal that you're eating today, but something that's real for me. Um, I took my family to um, uh, Vietnam, with my grandson, and we were told about different things about abduction and how we should avoid that walking the streets in Hanoi. And we had to take precautions so that my children wouldn't get abducted and taken over the Chinese border and be used for body parts or the sex trade. So we've all heard of that, that movie, the, the Sound of Freedom. It's just my cause, I think is important. Carl over here is a, a um, child recovery agent a, and he runs an agency. They need a lot of support, it's a private agency that he takes a cause up about helping people around the world. This is very passionate. We all get touched with this. Um, the award, before we go on further, I call Carl to come up. Humanitarian award, again, is in the recognition of an individual or an organization for their consistent selfless acts which bring benefit to others in need. It's more than a charity. It's their unwavering passion to help others. The recipient for the 2003 Humanitarian Award is Paul Johnson. Paul Johnson is actually still in Cambodia at the moment. There's charities for orphanages and helping other people uh, on a different level. Paul has been instrumental in developing a specialized training program to help the less privileged to access self-defense. His work is on the international front is nothing short of inspiring. And you can see some of his work in the orphanage that, in, that is inspires to develop and help more people who are underprivileged and, and need that sort of help. Hi everybody and welcome from Cambodia. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody from Martial Arts Australia, especially Graeme Slater and the committee. Uh, I'm very proud to, um, to uh, receive this award this year and I'm very sorry that I can't be there. Unfortunately, my schedule was already pre-booked about six months ago. Uh, I'm currently here at Special Forces Command in Cambodia, uh, training the, the troops here. And I'd like to be in Melbourne right now, but uh, I'd like to thank everybody um, for believing in what I'm doing here, what I've done in Australia throughout the, or throughout the world. And um, I hope everybody has a great time. And I would like to say sincerely, thank you very much for those that have nominate, nominated me and have 
uh, bestowed this wonderful award on me. It is truly an honour, and I'm very much appreciative of what's happened and what you have done uh, for this honour. It's, it's, it's an award that I hold very close to my heart, especially humanitarian award, and I thank you very much and sincerely. I wish everybody a wonderful night tonight, and stay safe, everybody, and I look forward to seeing everybody next year. Thank you very much.